This playthrough is rated T for teen. Time to enter the planet of Gadgetron. Well, Kalibo 3. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another episode of Ratchet and Clank. In the last episode, we, well, we got a whole lot of bolts. Like, a lot of bolts. Uh, completed the uh, gold bolts and skill uh, point on um, Orkson. So now it's time to head to the Gadgetron site on Kalibo 3 and see if we can get that... Uh, um, robot disguise so we can get to uh, explore, finish speeding, uh, exploring Core 2. Man, what's wrong with me today? But anyway, let's head on. This is starting to become annoying. I'm not sure why I bother with you incompetent idiots. All right. I'll try this one more time. You are my most elite troops. I'm sending you down to the planet's surface to destroy those troublemakers. Now go! Oh, and if you have to destroy Gadgetron to get rid of them, so be it. Well, looks like we have the special forces against us, but we don't know that yet. So, yeah, this is the uh, Kaliba 3, Gadgetron's home home place. So, let's take a look at the map. That looks like uh, two spots to go to. Whoa, what's all this? Oh, oh dear. But anyway, this place has two uh, skill skill points and two uh, gold bolts. I got some the two gold bolts are pretty close together. Um, the skill points are a little bit more tougher. Uh, well, I wouldn't say super tough, but they are a little tough. Um, one is uh, going through a whole rail section without taking any damage, and the other one is, well, I'll show you when we get to it. So, uh -oh. there they are already. That didn't take very long, did it? Oh, maybe I should have just... Uh -oh. So, well, that was easy. Yeah, they're not like a boss or anything like that. They're just guys we fight, so, oh well. Oh, these guys again. Yeah, all the all the special forces do the guys do is they just hover and then they try to shoot at you. Really nothing too complicated. Ah. Easier if I actually hit. There we go. So, Alright, let's go inside. So that's how you get in this place. Get some health. Although I don't, I don't know why I'm trying to destroy all the boxes. I'm mainly doing it for the ammo because I don't need the bolts anymore. I guess force a habit or whatever. All right, let's go. Uh, oops. Yeah, let's go this way. Uh oh. Well, good thing they're done. Hmm. All right, let's see what this where this direction lies. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I'll have to do that again later. Because you're supposed to have to go through this whole section without uh, taking damage. Let's either this one or the other one. But. I th actually, I think it's the next next row. No, it's this one. Okay. Yeah, this one has the trains. So, you can... The, the bombs are pretty easy because, you know, you just hit them. But uh, the trains are a different matter. You can't get hit by the trains either, obviously. All right, we need to hit these switches if we can. Although I think I needed to stay on, so whoops. Oh, well, we'll come back. Whew. Well, actually, I took the hit already. Never mind. Well, I can always try it again with a... Uh... Oh, there we go. Aha! All right, let's go this way now. Whee. Awesome, I, fought, I I forgot to jump. I thought I pressed the X button, but okay. All right, let's try this again. All right, let's not get a hit this time. All 
Yeah, you want to hit those like uh, switches and jump at the uh, when that part appears when it like turns color. But I thought I pressed the button, but I guess not. Or maybe I waited too long, something like that. Oh well, not that much I can do about that. Luckily, this section isn't actually that long. Alright, jump onto this. So we can uh, find those switches. Ah, oh, come on, man. Now what? Uh, I was hoping to do it without getting hit. Or taking damage. Ah, oh, man. Now, now I'm just doing terribly today. Now, I did it better the first time. Even though I got hit at the very beginning, but still, comparatively speaking, of course. Yeah, as long as you jump uh, within that parameter, you're fine. Uh-oh. Yeah, not too, not too difficult. Yeah, who, who's driving this crazy thing, huh? Wee. All right, now we want to go here. Now, before, this would have had a uh, blue um, uh, force field on it, but since we uh, hit those switches earlier, oops, dang it. since we hit those switches earlier, they would be, uh, there's nothing on it, so. This helps us get to one of the uh, gold bolts, like you can see there. And there's another bolt. Oh, are you serious? All right. I thought I jumped far enough. Wow. See, I'm dying to the mechanics, not the actual difficulty of this place. Well, luckily this time, now that we've already done that switch thing, I don't have to do that again. So I can skip that part. Yeah, it's kind of annoying to do this whole thing and then you fall off at the last second. Uh, like I said, it's not a, it's not super difficult, and not super long either. Yeah, I can avoid hitting those switches now, and I don't have to go this way. Let's try this again. There we go. You're not supposed. To, all you have to do is jump. You're not supposed to like push forward or anything like that. You're supposed to jump, and you should be able to make it to the, the location, but... But me oh my, I fell to my doom. And yeah, see that blue uh, blue force field? If you don't hit the switches, that's what... Uh, that's what happens. I try it again. Huh? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, that, oh, I would have, I would have gotten it too if it weren't for you pesky train cars. Hey, we finally get to meet the help desk girl. I hope she's cute. What should that matter? Oh man. Uh, so, uh, come here often? Actually, I work here, so I come here all the time. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've been following your progress. Here, shh, take this. It's a map -o -matic. It will be very helpful. I'll uh, see you later. Bye, sweetie. I think she likes me. The Gadgetron map -o -matic can be used to find secret areas. Just go to your map screen and all secret areas will be highlighted on the map. Yeah, so if you didn't know, like, some of the, the hidden stuff of the game, you can now press this, and it tells you, like, certain locations, like that green spot there. So if you could go back to older areas for... It basically helps you get the gold bolt, is how, is how it's supposed to work. So, there is... Ah. So, we're going to get the gold bolt here in a second, but when he says, I hope the girl's cute, uh, joke's on you, I think she's cute. I mean, does that not do... Does that not... Do anything for you viewers? I I mean, uh, uh, she's she's a nice worker and uh, and is true to her work and uh, and we're Alombax. We don't we don't care about such things. So, but anyway, let's uh, get that other gold bolt. So yeah, instead of going to the uh, um, the taxi, let's go to this thing right here, the Gadgetron Employee Break Room. 
What the? Uh, hello? Uh, these are, uh, from from what I understand, these are all supposed to be Gadgetron employees that accidentally hit themselves with the Morphomatic, so. Oh yeah, I never went over what the Morphomatic does. Uh, it turns people into chick. It turns, what, no, I think it says in the description. It turns them into chickens. So yeah, these are all uh, Gadgetron employees that, uh, yeah, I can't really go down that way, but anyway, so yeah. So we got the two uh, two uh, gold bolts for this place. So now for the skill point, I have to redo this again without getting hit. But we'll do that later. So let's uh, go the other direction and uh, get the other item. But yeah, the map of is for those who were, didn't know where gold bolts were. And this helps you at least give you an idea of where it is. Although it tells you the secret location of this one, but it doesn't tell you how to get there. So you're like, well, how are you supposed to figure that out? So, oh well. It still tells you that there's one there, so. Yeah, I'll do that later before we leave, so we'll see what we'll see how much time we have. Yeah, the Gadgetron uh, lady that tells you uh, how to help us throughout the whole game is uh, uh, the robot lady right that we met there. So, all right, so let's go the other way. Uh, more Mausers. To throw stuff at me. Not cool, man. Now it's a uh, use the wall for why not? It usually one shots a lot of creatures, so more powerful than the wrench. It is almost not not necessary to use the wrench anymore after a point, which is kind of interesting when you think about it. <laughs> Y'all done? Yeah, I'm, I'll give you another fisticuffs. Yeah. I'll butter your bread, jelly, or jam. Yeah, the Walford can also go through the... Can also go through boxes like that. Ah. It's always funny seeing Ratchet's face like that. Wrong button. Eh. I think I tried it with the... bomb matic Precious heels. Ah, hello. Aha. Yeah, back up. So we can hit that. Up. Yeah. Oh, right. I forgot it has a timer. Yeah. The the first switch is basically a tutorial. I'm like, oh, this is how this works. In this plan. You need to hit those things. And I'll open it back up. Because it sets a timer no matter what. So. And uh, technically, I don't have to wait for because I got that one machine. Now I don't have to worry about a um, uh, a shop to buy ammo anymore. So I can buy it at any point if I wanted to. This is something kind of fun about. Oh, are they all using the Walters too? They are. I think it. Actually, it might be the weapon you're equipped with now that I remember. Like, whatever weapon you switch to, the robots do the same thing or something like that. It's been a while. I just noticed they were equipped with boxing gloves when, when you fought them, so that's what I was thinking. And too bad you can't buy healing from, uh, from the shop. That'd be a lot. That'd be a lot easier. The only problem with the uh, with the devastators. Oh come on! Yeah, there we go. Wasted all my life there. Ah! Man, taking all the hits today. Oh well, at least we usually reset it. Uh. I got some great bargains. Gadgetrons and stuff like that. Might as well just max it out while we're here. Uh, 
Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> Is it? Is it now? All right. Now let's switch to the swing shot. Okay, so I need to hit that switch there. Whoop. No bitey. No bitey or pinchy. Otherwise, I'll summon my my uh, crab, Leonardo to Pinchy, Pinchy after you. What, you don't have a, a, a crab named Leonardo da Pinchy? No, I don't actually have one. I just like making that joke. All right, so I need to... Try to see if I can hit it from... Hmm. Actually, it might be... <laughs> I could just uh, use the Visibomb, even though that's a gross... Overuse of that weapon. I keep forgetting which one the Visibomb is, like with the description for it. There it is. It looks like a rocket. Oh, that'll work, I guess. Like I said gross over overkill, but. Yeah. It's kind of throwing me off a bit. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> Alright, let's do that again. Actually, let's see if I can hit it from here with the. Nope, too far away. It's a devastator. Yeah, I was trying to switch to that one thing, or try to grab the one thing, and I took too long. There we go. Yeah, no, uh, no grind section for this thing. Or no major grind section for this. Okay. Oh, yeah, I gotta stop doing that. It's just a force I have it. All right, now what do you guys got? I don't know. I guess it is just whatever, whatever they're equipped with, so, or whatever they got. Because now they're using the pyro siders. Oh. Actually, the Walfers probably isn't the best weapon to use against the pyro sider, just because you know it's, it's all about close range. And too late now. Could have used the uh, Glove of Doom, would have been good. Yeah, let's take you guys out from afar. Yeah, this thing has some range. Oops. Oh, nice. Ah. Oh. They've seen me, so I have to. Got him. <laughs> no more bombs, bomb pros, or whatever you want to call them. Oh. All right. Back up. Run away. Run away. How far is your range? I think this one takes a few shots, if I recall. Nope. Quite a few more. I probably could use the Visibomb. It does more damage. Four, huh? More many Visibomb shots it would have taken. Hmm. Ooh, wow, this, looks, this place is very nice when it comes to health, health uh, bits. I appreciate it. Assortment now. Take this. Say hello to my little friends. Actually, now that I think about it, like with infin with basically infinite money, well, not infinite money, but with a ton of money, it kind of makes a lot of sections kind of moot because I can just like use, like for, for this example, I could just use gloves of doom all the time and then just buy more gloves of doom and just keep doing that. And that makes some areas uh, kind of pointless. But I guess that's the point of replays, you know. I think that's... I'll fix that guy out. I'll form the head. Alright, I mean... Now where are we? We're so close! Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> like I said, force I have it. Alright, do you own this place? Who runs Bartown? Excuse me, sir. 
I was wondering if you were concerned about the, uh, invasion? Son, our defenses are the best money can buy. Don't give it another thought. You ever been on a hoverboard? Yeah, once or twice. I am in search of a hip young star to represent my newest line of boards. Some of my kids can look up to. Then I am your man. If you can beat my <clears throat> test bots in a race, that job is yours. All right, looks like we're gonna have to race, uh, race this guy to get whatever we need. So this is the other skill point. So during this race, there's, there's points you can get and we need to get 4,500 points uh, to get the skill point, but we'll just beat the race for now. All right, so we've got ourselves some uh, missiles, and uh, so we can um, shoot at the uh, our competition. It's like Mario, except it's like Mario Kart, except you die. No, uh, but yeah, this is the way to. Uh, yeah, you see that score down at the bottom? That's um, um, that's from like doing jumps and tricks and stuff like that. So like you press the R1 button, stuff like that, uh, and you get more points for doing different. Um, different tricks so you can't just press like r1 over and over and over again and expect to uh win so unfortunately i'm pretty far behind so we are not doing that well i have to redo this oh well that's fine and yeah, we still got a couple of... oh man i am way behind holy crap Just need to kind of keep hitting those, uh... Yeah, the first, the first, second, and third put people are way, way far ahead. And let's see if we can try to stick up here. But yeah, when you're doing, when you're doing the points thing, yeah, just, just, uh, basically you just want to go on the slowest. Ah! No! No! Yeah, I'm not gonna. I, I am not winning now. The only problem is you kind of have. To, let's, find, let's see. Okay, let's quit and do that again. Okay. Because I have. Like, I am. I failed way too many times, and that is not. There's no point. You know what I mean? Hmm, yeah, not a good start, unfortunately. I don't remember this one being that tough. Maybe I'm just. Maybe I'm a little rusty. But yeah, this is definitely more of a combat -y, uh type of uh Oh, and you see that blue uh blue sphere there? Well you have to do something very specific to activate that thing. That or not sphere, the the force field. But Well, you're supposed to hit those little loops, but okay. I don't want to hit that loop anyway. Alright. Do it a little bit better. Okay, so I want to hit all these. There we go, okay. So that'll help me out with a shortcut later. That's how you're supposed to... Well, you can probably beat them without doing that now that I think about it, but... But that'll definitely help me get a get an edge. Alright, let's see. Oh, no, not quite yet. Maybe it's another spot. Never mind. I'm, I think I'm something else, so... Whoa. Now yeah, he's still in only in third place though, that's the problem. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Because that's one of the shortcuts. Well, the end you lose all your ammo when you do that. It might be better to restart again. I don't know. And yeah, did you see another shortcut over there as well? Yeah, there's quite a few of them in this this mission. Unfortunately, I'll have to uh, probably have to redo it again. Unfortunately, well, better to get my bearings the first time around, and then uh, and then that'll allow me to uh, do better the, the next time. Because that'll give me like a, a head start on like, okay, I remember. I mean, even though I play test some of these, sometimes I'll forget like little details, like in the midst of the. Okay.
So yeah, didn't well we weren't trying to go for a score anyway, so. Okay, try it again. Yeah, I need to beat them, that's the thing. Nope, nope. I need more of a speed boost to get to that one, so. So unfortunately there's not much I can do on that one, so. Oh well. Oops, didn't mean to actually. Okay, sorry, let's let's try that. Let's try that again. Man, sorry, sorry, I'm like, I don't I don't remember being that bad at this. Ugh, and when you get hit you uh you you slow down a lot. Like it's pretty ridiculous how much you slow down. Let's try that again. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going way too. I'm not. Uh, I'm not really getting a good. I need to avoid that. Uh, ah, man. Okay. I need to avoid those missiles. And yeah, I don't have enough of a boost. What you need to do is you need to hit, get on top of that one thing, and that helps you. Uh, that helps you get enough of a of a boost to get that one other side uh, shortcut. And obviously take advantage of some of the other shortcuts as well. Oh man, no, no. Okay, that'll work, that'll work. Yeah, sorry if I'm not talking very much. I'm trying to, I'm focusing. Okay, that'll definitely get me a, uh, a bit of a, a boost. Okay, there we go. Unfortunately, it's not enough of a boost to get that other shortcut there, unfortunately. And yeah, after I beat the race, then initially I'll, uh, um, hey now. Uh, whoops. That'll work, I guess. Where's the other one, though? That one's, like, way too far ahead. Oh, there he is. I think I saw him. Oh, no! Ah, oh, shoot. This is what I get for trying to trying to hit that guy with the missile. Yeah, he's too far ahead. That... Wow, all that work and I already lost. Pretty much. Like... Why is it not hitting him? He keeps missing him. Wow. Okay. Well, anyway, I have to, I have to redo it. I, I, uh, took me too long to... Hmm. Yeah, I should have, uh, landed on top of that or something. Man. That really slows you down, like, quite a bit, actually. Might have to, uh, I might have to cut to when I do a successful, uh, win of this. Otherwise, you'll probably see me do this, like, a million times. It's not even that hard either, that's just, that's the thing. I keep jumping too, too high when it comes to uh, this part, so I can get, get the little speed boost. And you gotta make sure to hit all the speed boost. Okay, at least that helps me a little. Nope, not enough. All right, yeah, I lost too much of a uh, lost too much of my speed to uh, hit that because that that cuts down a little, uh, quite a bit of a uh, loss of speed by that point. Yeah, I need to also hit all those uh, like little light rings because they they're they're the, they're the things that give you like the permanent boost or whatever. I see them. I wonder if I can hit him from here. Yeah, either way, that should be it. As long as I don't uh, mess up too badly for the rest of the area, I should be. Oh no, I don't have any missiles either. No, you don't, you don't win today. No. I really need to get a uh, missile, otherwise uh, he's gonna get ahead of me.
There we go. I think I hit him. I mean, it doesn't permanently take him out, but it takes him out for a second. Just enough to, uh, you know, get to the end. So, all right. Wow, that took me quite a few tries, didn't it? Oh, yeah, I don't actually need to grab that, do I? That was terrific! Now I just needed to say a few words about our hot new boards. Huh? Now? Of course. Just look into that camera right over there and say what comes naturally. Rolling! Uh, hi. This is Ratchet for, uh, Gadgetron Hoverboards. And if you, um... Yo, dudes, for the freshest boards in the galaxy, check out the new XZ88 from Gadgetron. It's so hot, it's cool. I think I got the wrong guy. That was... <laughs> something. Hey, I was thinking, do I get a discount on gadgets now? Uh, you have to be with the company for two years before the employee discount kicks in. <laughs> I can, however, let you have this. The Gadgetron Hologize is the perfect infiltration device for all our non-robot customers. Simply equip the device and press the circle button. You will instantly be disguised as a sentry bot, preventing detection by all sentry bot security systems. Press the circle button again to wave at fellow sentry bots, who will then deactivate force fields for you. Caution, use of any weapon while disguised will deactivate the hologuys. All right, now we got the hollow guys, so now we can go back to that one one place, and yeah, all you do is keep uh, waving and stuff like that. So, all right, let's see if we can get the skill point. So you need 4,500 points, and uh, best to... Uh, well. All right, well, that would have worked if I hit all of them. You also want to try not to get... Ah, oh, man. You want to also try not to take all the shortcuts. You want to... And you don't want to speed up, so that way you can hit all the ramps and, and get all the... But unfortunately, you don't... Yeah, if you mess up the, um... If you mess up... If you fall during the thing, you don't, uh... You don't get the credit. So, yeah, see? Right, let's try that again. Man, I really... I'm actually really bad at this. Uh, I know I've gotten the skill point before, but I am not very good. And yeah, you have to get 4,500 to do that. I might... Actually, what I might do is... Well, we'll try it, but I might try to just, uh... Um, what I might try to do is just uh, off screen um, do like a successful run or something like that. Yeah, you you have to do the flip, but you also have to uh, um, uh, move and do and flip around. It doesn't count if you don't do a full flip, if you know what I mean. So, so you want to hit like a really good like uh, bump. But yeah, since I didn't do different ones, it's not a very good, it wasn't a very good flip. So, eh, not bad. Oop. Well then. Ah, man. Although I could just keep messing it up just to... Ah, I did the... Well, I'm not gonna go through the thing, so it doesn't matter. Ah! I am so bad at at, at like do uh, stopping like at the mo right moment, you know what I mean? And I and you can get a decent amount of points from just doing that, you know, because it, it requires 4,500. So you can get a, a couple of good like jumps. Ah, come on, game. It's a game. You need to like move all over the place too, so Let's see. But I can't uh, seem to to get it. Yeah, I'll probably what I'll do is I'll probably just uh. Oh my god! Fell on top of it, and I don't. I'm not trying to win, so you know I'm gonna. Th those guys can beat me no matter what, and I don't care. Just keep failing. Oh, every time I think I've got it, I, I mess up again. 
I got a couple, so. <laughs> yeah, I like I don't stop at the right the right moment, so I'm not flat. <laughs> Just fall into the water and everything like that. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we're not we're not going to be doing this today. So what I'll do is I'll uh, off-screen um, redo the... Or, sorry, off-screen I'll do a, like, a perfect run. and Or, not perfect run, but I'll do a, a satisfactory run. And, uh... Yeah, see, this is how you get back. Get back over here. Unfortunately... Actually, I think this one might stay open, if I recall. Yeah, I think so. I think this is one of the few that, that does that, so... All right, so before we leave, let's see if we can do that one, get that one skill point really quick. And then we'll call it an episode. All right, try to do this without no damage, huh? If I do get hit, I'll just jump off and, take, and die, so that way I don't have to worry about it. Because I almost got it. I, I got hit by that train at like the very end of the thing, which is the most annoying part. Because if I had uh, not gotten hit there, then uh, we would've been gravy. But that's just the challenges of, of rail, of doing the rails, man. Ride the wind, baby. And it was like at that one spot, like right at the very, like the second jump or whatever it was. So. Yeah, since we don't have to do this one, I don't have to worry about it. Oh, no, I jumped too soon. Oh, man. I was jumping and then I didn't jump again. Actually, what I might do, if I don't do it again, I'll do it off screen and just tack on at the beginning of the episode. Or maybe at the end of the episode, I'll tack on the successful run. We'll see how I'm, uh, I'm feeling. It probably would be better just to tack on at the end of the episode. If I do the outro and then uh, and then do my, where I complete it without any issues. It's not even difficult per se, at least not this. It's just, you know, me messing up a few times. You know, I don't have to be on this adventure, you know. I am a mil I am a I'm almost a millionaire bolter, you know. Why am I doing this anymore? I don't need to save the world. I've got I've got a ton of money. Or bolts. I keep saying money, but Couldn't you just well I never I was about to say can't you make your own money? It was like, well yeah, we do make our own money. It's just we don't make too much so we prevent inflation from occurring. Which that still doesn't uh, stop from some nations from uh, building more uh, or making more money or um, okay. jump 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 oh Whew. okay For some reason I thought uh, uh there we go all right so we got that so okay yeah I think I'll I'll do the uh, I'll do the uh, track uh, you know I'll, I'll I think I'll tack it at the beginning of the next episode. That way, uh, that way I can, uh, per uh, that way I can try to do it, uh, practice off screen or whatever. So, well, all right. I guess I don't have to run all the way back to the ship for this part. I guess if I don't want to, but, um, but yeah. So we got the info bot. Uh, so, or not the info bot. We got the hollow or robo disguise or whatever, which will, will allow us to. Uh, um, I wonder if this flips. Oh, it does flip, huh? It flips when we get there to the uh, other direction. That way we, even though we could walk it, but we'd have to slow down first. So we don't want to do that. But yeah, we got the robot disguise, so it's back to uh, Core 2 to figure that out. What awaits us there? Is it going to be a revelation for one of our heroes? Find out next time in the next episode of Ratchet and Clank. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.